Welcome to this recording where you're going to listen to insightful moments recorded during live coaching sessions with my clients who come from diverse professional backgrounds. And if you like what you hear today, please share it with your friends and colleagues. And remember to hit the subscribe button now and ensure that you never miss any other episode. Thank you. So voice patterns are often unintentional. They're a habit. We pick them up from other people, from our environment, from our culture, particularly vocal fry, you know, kind of speaking like this. Nobody actually knows they're doing it. And if you did know that you're doing it, then you would be doing voice in an intentional way, which requires that mindfulness and intelligence, meaning I'm going to really think about this. And very few people actually think about their voice unless they've been trained to think about their voice like singers and performers who are aware of the voice, the output of their voice. So most people are just speaking unintentionally. They don't know when they're sounding abusive. They don't know when they're sounding permissive, like too soft and allowing people to take advantage of them. They're not aware of their voice being high-pitched or too low or croaky or mumbling until somebody mentions something. And usually people put these voices in just a sense of it sounds monotone or it's too soft or it sounds too demanding. They use words like this, which are big buckets. So in order to be mindful of your voice, you have to be intentional. You can only really record yourself and listen back, watch a video and listen to yourself in different situations when you're energized, when you're tired when you're excited, when you're bored and listen to the patterns and then listen for efficiencies. If I'm croaky all the time, one, that's damaging for your voice. Secondly, a repetitive pattern in the way we speak where there's not enough movement can be monotone and it can be predictable. It's unexciting. It's it's not unexciting. It's it's not exciting for people to listen to, because they can predict. And remember, this is all unconscious. So even people unconsciously, kind of think they already know where you're going, because you're programming programming them in a way where you're teaching them. I've got a pattern in the way I speak, and it's all unconscious. So, being mindful is very important. Listen to recordings, and knowing what to do. So what do we do? We warm up our voices. We make sure our breath is flowing, that it's not restricted, making sure our mind stays connected to the full sentence, not turning it off before the end of the sentence, meaning I'm done. Well, you're not done until the sentence is completed, sometimes until the interview is completed, staying energized and deliberate and aware Even if you are tired, sometimes we can't afford to just demonstrate that with a croaky voice because everything becomes mumbly and slurs. And even if you are on a microphone or on a great computer with a microphone, it can still affect the output. So we need to be intentional and aware of our voice. And remember that voice is a habit and we pick it up, we're influenced by our family, friends, and our environment, and we don't know the voice we have until we take time to address it, and our voice is like our face. We take it everywhere with us. People know us by our voice, so it's worth, it's worth the work. Thank you for listening to this recording. I hope it has helped you. Please remember to subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time.